Hey guys, it's Tressa here. Welcome to my channel. Today I use the Tarlet and Bloom palette to create this halo eyeshadow look. So if you want to see how to get this look, then please keep watching. Look. How to get this look. Okay, so for this look, I've already done my eyebrows. If you want to learn how to do your eyebrows, I'll leave the link for my video down below. I have my foundation on as well because... It's winter time and my skin's not the nicest. That's just the truth. I'm just going to be honest with you. So we're going to start off with the eyes first. I'm going to wing it today. We'll see what happens. We'll see what we come up with. So after we added the MAC Soft Ochre Pink Pot, I'm going to go in with... I think I'm just going to go in with this banana shade and just put it all over my eye just to really set the primer. Adding a setting powder to your primer just prevents any creasing of your eyeshadow and it makes the shadows that you put on easier to blend. So I always suggest this step just so everything is looking nice and flawless. Uh, for my crease color today, I'm going to use Rebel. I'm really bad at explaining shadows to be honest. It's like a brown maroon shade. You know the drill. And I'm just going to take this Real, Tec Real Techniques Dual Fiber Eye Brush. And it's probably my favorite brush out there right now. Ooh, that was like ham. I'm going to start from the corner of my eye and drag it all over my crease to the tear duct. We're going to do a little halo effect today. With a very light hand and windshield wiper motions, I'm just going to continue to build this color up right into my crease. Next, I'm going to go in with this really maroon shadow. It's called Leader. It's like a chocolate maroon. I don't know, but it is speaking to me. So I'm really focusing on the outer crease and the inner crease and like very lightly going through the center because that's where my light shimmery shadow is going to go and that's the start of the show. And I'm using Makeup Geek's pointed crease brush for this. Next I'm going to take a MAC 224 that has no shadow on and I'm just going to really blend it out so... There's no harsh lines and everything is looking blended. I feel like that's like the main thing with makeup. You always want to make sure that everything is blended. Take this shadow firecracker. I think it's my favorite shadow in the palette. As you can see, it's the most used. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm also going to take this Sonia Kashuk brush. <clears throat> and it is... Just a flat shader brush. There's no name on it, but that's what it is. I'm also going to dampen my brush with some Fix Plus just so it really pops. Oh yeah. Soaking it up. I'm just going to take that and pat it on the center of my lid. Next, going in with this white shade called Charmer, I'm just going to highlight my brow bone. And I'm taking that e.l.f. eyeshadow brush is what it's called. Very creative with me. Now I'm just going to add some eyeliner just along my lash band. I'm not going to do a wing liner look because it's oval and a wing liner just doesn't go with that. So. I'm using lashes with a black band, so just to disguise the band, I'm going to add some liner. I'm using the NYX Liquid Black Liner. Alright, so I went in and added my eyeliner and lashes off camera because I tried to film it, but the struggle was real. I haven't mastered that yet. So I just used the NYX Liquid Liner and then added some Ardell Double Wispies, which I love, but they are a pain to put on. They're too flimsy, but they look good. 
Alright, so now for concealer, I'm going to use my Maybelline Age Rewind. As you can see, it's down to its last drops. So I'm just going to go in like I always do and draw my triangles under the eye. Just to give it that highlight. And then down the bridge of my nose. And then... And that Simba face, that lion face, and a bit on my chin. Next, I'm going to take my damp beauty blender and just dab it and blend it in. Next, taking my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder, I'm quickly just going to set my concealer, which prevents any creasing throughout the day. So next, I'm taking my MAC Mystery, what is this really called? Let's go see this. My MAC Sheer Mystery Powder to set the rest of my face and get rid of these laugh lines. And I'm using a Real Techniques dual fiber face brush. Next, taking my a very clean MAC 135 brush, I'm gonna add some bronzer. And at first I'm gonna use MAC Give Me Sun. I think I just put my fingernail in it. Matt, give me sun and just runs up my face. If you want to see a full face tutorial, I'll leave a link in the description box for that as well. Next, I'm going to go in with the, I'm just going to bronze my face up. I'm going to go in with this Too Faced Bronzer in Sun Bunny. It's really shimmer, shimmery and just add some glow to my skin. Just even though it's winter time, I'm still trying to glow, you know? Now, just to add more product on my face, I'm going to go into my NYX Contour Kit, and I'm going to use this shade right here and contour my cheekbone. Next, I'm going to contour my nose, and I'm going to take the same shade right here and just give myself a nose contour. Oh yeah, that's true. Next, I'm going to add some blush, and I'm taking Max Blush in Sincere. Just going to start at the apples of my cheeks and bring it backwards. And I'm just using a Real Techniques blush brush. Take Rebel and Leader and add it to my lash line. Next, I'm going to take my L'Oreal Telescopic and add some mascara to the lower lash line. And now for my inner corner highlight, I'm going to take Mary Luminizer by The Bomb Cosmetics and this Eco Tools brush that doesn't have a name and dampen it with my Max Fix Plus. And add it to my Next, taking my Real Techniques contour brush, I'm going to be applying Mary Luminizer by The Bomb Cosmetics, and you're going to want to focus your highlight on anywhere the light will reflect off your face. Okay, so moving on to lips, I'm going to take Max Strip Down and line my lips. I'm going to take my very unpopular Velvet Teddy Lipstick by MAC and just come through. Alright guys, so that is it for this tutorial. If you like this eyeshadow look, give it a thumbs up. Leave some comments below if you have any suggestions for future videos. Don't forget to subscribe and thank you so much for watching. I did it. I did it. I did it. Okay.
Hey guys, it's... Thank you. Oh, so close. So, so good. Close. Mm -hmm. Where is it? Oh no. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> That's good enough. You know? <laughs>